technological advancements have infiltrated almost every industry across the world, and the agricultural sector is no exception. Albert Kamatu is a smart farmer in Ruiru in Kiambu County, and his vertical farming is a product of agricultural technology. Albert is in his late 30s, and he is changing the face of farming in his village through the knowledge he acquired from Israel after successfully completing his course. His passion for farming saw him secure a scholarship to go pursue a course in intensive vegetable production and modern irrigation technologies in Shefiem City in Israel, a country that is very advanced in agricultural technology. This multi-story unit with six layers, according to Albert, just requires one ton of red soil and a wheelbarrow of manure. If we were to do a similar farming on ground, eh, you would find in one bed, it will take you about 90 to 100 eh, eh, plants. So when you do on the vertical, you are making six to seven more times than you would have done on the conventional farming. When you do your gross uh, average of uh, harvesting, uh, you can get about uh, 8 to 10 kilograms. Vertical farming comes with lots of advantages including saving of space, water, energy and more production in a small square unit. So another plus advantage of using this system is that uh, you find you can save more on water due to the fact that uh, the limitation of it, uh, uh, you can do about uh, 20 liters of water in one unit, so it will serve you almost a week. Albert's indoor farm here has 24 units on 40 by 80 parcel of land, each unit carrying 120 heads of leafy greens like spinach as well as strawberries, among others. Moving on to the next step whereby we'll have the whole unit like this automated. So once it is automated, we'll be using um, the 8mm drippers connected to a, every unit. And once that is done, we are going to automate it so that it can be able to use a phone app to irrigate it. Aside from vertical farming, Albert also does vermiculture, where he keeps red worms for multiple purposes in his farm by feeding them with waste from his farmyard. So it is uh, used to create a uh, uh, warm liquid. Eh? So you feed it with waste from uh, the, uh, the farm. He then dilutes one liter of effluent with nine liters of water to get 50 liters of liquid fertilizer and a semi-solid manure used as a base for plants as they germinate. And uh, with this the liquid, eh, uh, it is used to nourish plants and uh, help them uh, aerate and germinate uh, faster. In his farm, nothing goes to waste. Albert also creates compost liquid manure. As an alternative to the liquid fertilizer he gets from the red wriggler, the ingredients are a mixture of farmyard waste plus kitchen refuse. This one helps you to kill uh, insects like crickets and the spider mites. So once this, the crickets and the spiders ingest this liquid, eh? They just die and decompose. So they become part of the manure in the farm. In between his outdoor vegetable plantations, Albert Kamanu has planted varieties of bananas in his tissue culture. This not only gives him banana, but also acts as a windbreaker for other crops in the farm. His advice to other farmers is simply to embrace agricultural technology for better returns. Safi Godanamamo Switch TV in Ruiru, Kiambu County.